Hello, my name is Maria and this is Mathy, my mascot. In this lesson we are studying numbers with three digits or numbers with hundreds on a number line. And I have here a long number line, as you can see, but some numbers are missing. And of course our task is to fill in those missing numbers. And it is actually pretty easy. When you look at these numbers, they have 300 something. And so you can just fill in the number line thinking of your two digit numbers, like here, 58, like here, 60, and then just putting the 300 in front of that. So, you know, after 58 would come 59, but we have the 300, so it is 359. What number would be here before 358? Think of 58, before that would be 57 but it has the 300. And before that, 356. Let's go on. What goes here? Okay, 62. So 363. And then 364, 365, 366, 367, 368. This is easy, isn't it? 369. And what comes after that? After 69 would come 70, so 370. And now our number line is ready. Let's answer these questions here. What number is 1 more than 365? That's easy, right? Think of 65 and 1 more, so we get 66. 366. What number is 1 less than 370? You can find it on the number line. 370, go 1 less. 369. 10 more than 358. I could go here, okay, 358, and go 10 more. I could go 10 steps more. But I can think of this 50 here. It's going to have 10 more, so it's going to become 60, right? 368. 10 less than 363. Okay. I can go here and jump 10 backwards, except my number line doesn't reach that far. So I need to think of this 60. 10 less would be 300, and then instead of 60, 53. Two more than 360. You can tell, right? 362. Two less than 371. Over here. 369, and then find the difference, difference of those two numbers. What did that mean, remember? Difference of two numbers means how far apart they are from each other. 359 is here. 366 is here. Oh. Okay, okay, I'll let Matthew jump. He wants to go jumping on the number line again, so jump and find us the difference between these two numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good jumping, Matthew. Seven. The difference is seven. Of course, you can also find it by subtracting or thinking of the how many more addition. Draw a number line from 650 to 700. Okay, yes, I'm going to draw it, and I'm going to put tick marks into it, not by every one, but by every ten. Mark on it these numbers, but first we will draw the number line. Okay, I drew the number line, and now we're going to put the numbers there under the tick marks. And like I said, we're going to put them every ten. 650 and 660, right? 670, 680, 690. And then after that, we get to 700. Well, here would be 710 and 720. And then mark these numbers here, 661. Where would it go? Can you tell? Approximately. Look, here's 660. And then, of course, here would be those 
numbers 661, 662, and so on. So 661 would be somewhere there, right? 678. I'll first find 670. 78. 8 is pretty close to this end because after 78 would come 79 and then this 680. So let's put it close over there. And I forgot to write this. 661. 678. 685. Can you tell me where it's going to be? 85. It's going to be exactly here in the middle. And then 699, okay, 690, and then there would be 1, 2, 3, 4, you know, all the way till 9 would be here, 699, just before you get to 700. 654. 650, and then I imagine four steps, you know, if there's 10 steps here, I imagine taking four, almost to the half point, half point, but not quite. 654. There. Doesn't it look doesn't it look pretty, Matthew? Sure does. He agrees. Well done with this lesson.